So I'm trying out the plug-in mosquito repeller. Uh, if you can tell, but there's a light there. It tells you when it's on. And this one I'm using the little yellowish greenish pads inside of there. And let's see how good this does. I plugged it in and I'm watching the clock so I can see if and when I start to smell anything and um, how good it repels the mosquitoes from me. So give me just a minute and I'll get back with you. I'm back. It's been about 20 minutes. It's still lit up. I can feel it getting hot, but I have not smelled anything yet coming off of this. And one thing I did notice, like your typical thermocell, is you usually can see a little smoke coming from the vents of it, and I don't see anything. And it's, you know, so I'm going to try out the blue pads that I got and see if they make a difference. Obviously it's working because it's getting hot. But the yellow pads don't seem to be doing anything. So let me swap out pads and I'll see what happens. Okay, here's the new blue pads. I'm going to try these out. They do have a different smell than the ones in there now. So maybe they'll work. I'm about to find out if I can get this other one out. This one you can, well, I can smell. It's a, it doesn't smell like it much of anything anymore. So right now these yellow greenish pads, they're a fail. So I'm gonna give this one about another 20 minutes like I gave the other one. And let's see what they can do, if anything. It's been about 10 minutes with the blue pad and I've always noticed a considerable difference in the smell coming from it versus the the first yellow green whatever color it color is that pad the blue pad I can already smell the uh, the fumes I guess you say off of it they smell kind of like a pine saw a little bit of a chemically smell but nothing too bad it's not nothing that's going to run you away from the area and it doesn't smell like potpourri so it, it's you know a nature type smell but uh i haven't noticed many mosquitoes around me so it's possibly doing its job but just from the overall putting off a smell putting off of the, the aroma whatever you want to call it it's a lot better versus these pads here so i'm gonna let this do its course and Hopefully, I'll get rid of the mosquitoes. Like I said before, I haven't noticed many flying around me, so maybe it's doing its job. But right now, it's it's doing pretty good, so we'll see how it works out. And the uh, heating unit, whatever you want to call this, it's doing still doing good. You can still feel the heat off of it. The on the top, the sides, there's no heat on it. You know, a little bit. It's warm, but nothing bad. The top. You know, I keep my hand on it. It's not, it's, it's not terribly bad, but I wouldn't put it around any flammable materials. And I was kind of worried about it first when I read on the back of it, it said 220 volts, which I know that's probably the maximum, but, you know, it just kind of concerned me a little bit. But right now, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Not two thumbs up, but just a thumbs up for right now. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes since I've had it plugged in. And it's still going good. Just you can still feel the heat off of it, so it's doing its job. I'm sitting about two feet away from it in my chair here, and I can smell the the fumes, the aroma, whatever you want to call it, the scent off of it. And I haven't noticed any mosquitoes around me. Usually, I have them, you know, buzz around my ankles and my arms and so forth. But I haven't had any here. So right now, I'm given you know the the heater. You know, it seems to be doing its job for, you know, less than $2. I think I did pretty well with that. The pads, they seem to be working the way they should. Um, 
you can smell them. It's not a real strong smell. It probably could be stronger, but for the price I paid, I think I paid you know two or three dollars for a pack of fifty of them or twenty five, whatever it was. I have to go back and look. But anyways, um, I think it's went, uh, doing pretty good. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try out the USB powered uh, heater and see how it does.